Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is something we don't do a lot, which is actually a video on bounty. Now, before you guys click off the video, I know bounty is really boring and there is a reason why I never, ever, ever make bounty videos. But today is an exception because today Snake Prairie is out. Now, Snake Prairie is one of, if not the most iconic maps in Brawl Stars. You either absolutely love it or absolutely hate it. And if you hate it, it is because you always lose. You think it's dumb. You think it's all just luck walking around and auto aiming. But truly, that is not how Snake Prairie is supposed to be played at the top of ladder and in competitive there is one comp that trumps everybody else and i'm going to be teaching you guys exactly what it is today so you guys can steamroll your opponents every single time on snake now before we get into the video i want to tell you guys about a game called dragon champions introducing dragon champions this fantasy rpg game is free to play and is available on both ios and android stores this game requires zero money and there is zero paywall to unlock all high level stuff dragon champions is a very interesting unique and fun story with a very neat sense of humor and has many easter eggs hidden within the game this game has fantastic visuals inspired by other fantasy titles such as World of Warcraft. Dragon Champions regularly updates its content and has many events such as legendary and holiday events. The developer team discusses the game via Discord and regularly adds content that players suggest directly to the game. The game has tons of different unique and dynamic characters to choose from with different skills and abilities. Currently, the game has over 50 characters to choose from. Dragon Champions includes both PvE and PvP content, so you can decide whether you want to play with friends or with random people online or if you just want to play at your own pace and go on your own you can develop guilds within the game so you can raid as teams again with your friends or randoms or if you want you can just go alone there is regularly free gifts given from the developers and the best part is you can use my own promo code code bobby bs which is available for all players under level 15 and it gives you ten dollars worth of in-game content so what are you guys waiting for go ahead and download dragon champions now back on the topic of Snake, before I tell you guys about the comp or anything else, let's hop into the first game and I'll show you guys instead of tell you guys. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go into the first game and as you guys saw on screen and as we are facing, we're going to be going Piper, Gene, and Bo. So how does this comp work? So you got a Piper over here and the Piper is basically just scouting uh, a lot of long range shots and then you have a Bo and a Gene. So with Gene, what you want to do is you want to be able to get your super. Obviously the ideal star power here is Bo Vision. Now, Moonlight, is he is a homie, but he's not the greatest player in the world. So, we are going to have to sweat and do a lot this game. Um, try as hard as we can. So, basically, what you want to do is you want to be able to get your Gene Super. And once you get your Gene Super, you're going to try and follow the bow. And with bow vision, you're just going to hold down auto aim on your Super. And as soon as you see somebody, just go ahead and auto aim your Super. And you're going to be able to get the kill. So, right here, you guys can see we're working to get our Super. We got it over here. So now we're just going to chill. We're going to follow Feli because Feli has bow vision. We have our super. As soon as we see somebody in the grass, just auto aim the pull right there. We're going to get an easy kill. So the score is 3-3 right now. So you guys can see we're able to get a kill. If you have the lead, one thing you want to do is put bow mines on the sides. Or as you guys saw the Piper do earlier, just break the grass. Because that opens up the map. You can see when they're coming to you and you don't want to let them sneak up on you. So right here again, we're just working on getting our super. So we're a little bit over halfway. Usually your Piper is going to go for a few two taps. Unfortunately, Moonlight is kind of failing at that right now. But I'm sure things are going to change soon. So again, close to my super. Working on getting it. Very close. I believe their Gene has super. Their Gene's going to go for a pull. Not going to be able to hit it. And there we go. We have super now. So Feli's going to move up the side over here. I'm going to follow him. And as soon as we see somebody, we're going to go for a pull. So I think Feli wants to go through the bottom now. So Feli's going to go to that left side. I'm going to just go down here. Hopefully I can see somebody jump out and I can get a pull. We're going to be able to get that Piper right there. Going to be able to get that kill. And that should end the game. 3, 2, 1, GG. So there we go. First game was a win. And that was actually a pretty sweaty game. That guy, the other team was really, really good. That was our first game on. So it was a little bit rough. We did have to carry a little bit there. But that was the first game. So we're going to do one more Gene game. We want to show you guys exactly how this comp works once you get an early lead. So we get definitely going to try and do that next game. So let's hop into the next game and let's continue showing you guys what to do. Okay, so into the second game, again, we're going to be facing the exact same comp. And when I said this is like an unbeatable comp, there is no comp that is better than this in Snake. So everybody at the top end of ladder is going to be playing it. 
So again, we're going to start off by trying to get a super. We're already a quarter of the way there, which is a really, really good start. Going to move up the side here, try and get some full shots. Already over halfway. So this is a really, really, really good start. They're going to be able to get the first star, but that's fine because we almost have super and we're only a few seconds into this game. So one more shot until we're able to get super. Looking for that last hit. Still unable to get it. Going to go a little bit further up. Actually, I think I'm just going to shoot this right side over here. There we go. We're able to get it. So now we're going to move up this right side with Feli. And again, as soon as we see somebody, we're going to go for the pull. Feli's going to move to this uh, left side over here. He's shooting a lot. He's not really playing bow correctly. I'm going to show you guys how to play bow as well. As I said, we're going to be playing all three brawlers. Still waiting for Feli to go up. Still waiting. He's going to move up over here. We're going to see that gene, so we're going to get the pull. Again, that's just an auto-aim pull. There's no aim required for it. We're going to get our super off of this bow. Oh, maybe not. Maybe off the piper. Okay. We're going to be moving down this right side. So, waiting for Feli to go. Feli isn't going to go. Still waiting. He's going to move up. Taking his time over there. Moonlight should be breaking grass at this point, but he's not for some reason. So they're playing this comp really wrong, Moonlight and Feli. I'm going to have to go on the other brawlers and show you guys exactly how to do it. But we're just going to wait until we see somebody. There we go. We see one. Going to get that pull over there. Moonlight's going to go down. Feli is really, really, really low. Moonlight should be able to get that kill over there. Feli's going to be able to kill that bow. But Feli is still pretty low HP. Moonlight's going to go down. Feli needs to stay alive. He's going to go down over there. Gonna go for a last second pull, going to miss it, and that's going to be an L. So we lost, and our teammates really don't know how to do anything with this comp. So what we're gonna do is do one more game as Gene, so we can show you guys what to do. I'm gonna tell him in game exactly what to do. I thought Feli would have been able to know. Apparently he doesn't. So we're gonna hop into one more game with Gene. We're gonna show you guys how to properly play this map. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Um, I told him what to do, and again, we're facing the same comp, so hopefully this is going to be a lot better than it was last time. So again, same strategy, trying to chip away as the Gene. Feli's going to be moving up this right side over here. I'm going to get tapped, so I'm going to have to move back. Oh, Twitch notification over there. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, that reminds me, definitely go ahead and hit the follow button. Link in the description. Twitch is definitely an OP place to learn how to be way better. It's live so you guys can ask questions directly to me. There's a lot of pros usually in chat, so I would definitely check that out. But we're going to be moving up this left side over here, trying to get our super. We know there's somewhere on the left, so I'm just going to shoot this general area. Going to get a few taps, but nothing really. I feel like they went more to like the right side at this point. Yeah. Oh, they're just chilling in the back of their map, actually. Or the back of their side, I should say. So we're almost at super. A little bit over halfway. The Piper is going to break the left side since they have the lead right now. I'm just going to shoot over there. Again, trying to get my super. We're a little bit over halfway. Still trying to get it. I'm going to shoot this middle over here. Going to get some good taps. Unfortunately, the left side is breaking right now, though, which is not good at all. We're able to get our super. Belly's just going to stand right over here. We're hoping that we see somebody. Unfortunately, we don't. Gonna wait for Feli to move up. Gonna move back because the Piper's gonna shoot there. We're gonna move down this right side. Feli's gonna go first. There we go. We see the Piper, so really easy pull over there. We get the kill and we're going to move back. So Feli's doing a little bit of spinning since he actually played that properly. Um, we should almost have our super by now. There we go. We're able to get our super. So we just need somebody to walk up. There's no way we're allowing anybody to walk up over here. Feli's going to move up. If we see anybody, it's going to be an automatic pull. Going to go for that Piper. Going to get the miss, actually, but it doesn't matter. Since we got the win, and that one was way better, but it's still not as good as I want. So what we're going to be doing, I don't think Moonlight has a kill in three games. He might have one. I'm not sure. What we're going to do is I'm going to be, be playing one game on Bow and one game on Piper now. So let's hop into the next games, and let's show you guys exactly what to do with those two brawlers in this comp. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and finally we're facing a comp that is not Gene, Bow, and... Uh, and Piper. So what we're going to do is we're going to be playing Piper this game. First star power is obviously better. So we're going to take some shots at the start. So we definitely want to play better than Moonlight was playing. So let's try and get seven stars this game. We're going to be able to tap the Shelly over there. Feli's going to be able to finish off the kill. 
Ooh, 94 health. We're gonna be able to get that my or the uh, shield, but it's fine. Pretty good start so far. Um, we're gonna shoot down this lane. You want to just kind of shoot lanes that where you expect them to be. Oh, that's not very good. So a bow snuck up on us. I probably shouldn't have went up that far without our bow near us. Which is something that you guys obviously shouldn't do, as you guys just saw why. We're able to get some good taps. Gonna juke that shot over there. Gonna go for another one. Not able to hit anything. The bow, I assume, is still somewhere over here. But what we're gonna do is just walk up and break the walls over here. And what that does is that doesn't allow them to walk up. So you guys can see we obviously saw that Shelly because the walls were or the grass wasn't there. Able to get an easy kill. So we're gonna go for some taps over here now. Gonna be able to take out that B over there. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, we have our super again, so we're just gonna continue to break walls. So gonna go for that tap. Gonna be able to hit it. Belly's mines are going to be able to get that kill. So we're just going to break this right over here. It's going to activate the B shield, actually. It's going to go for a tap. Not able to get anything. So now we know 100% where they're going to be coming from. Uh, we can kind of just shoot down lanes at this point. Still don't know exactly where they are, but they can't really come up near us. So we're just shooting the Bs right over here. They're kind of moving as a team right now. I'm going to go down to a 3k shot, which actually isn't very good. And they're going to get the team wipe. So I'm going to be able to pick up one of them over there. Going to go for the bow. Able to pick up the bow. And we're going to be able to also kill that Shelly. So with, also, with only 10 seconds left, we're going to be able to pick up the dub here. So the B is moving up. Very scary, obviously, is the B. We're going to be able just to jump away. And that is going to be that game. So Piper, obviously, really good if you know what you're doing. Definitely break all the walls that you saw in that game. Don't really take anything that Moonlight did and use it. Just kind of do what I did over there. Except for a walk up without bow vision. So we're going to do one more game. We're going to be bow. And we're going to show you guys exactly how to bow. So let's hop into the next game. And let's show you guys. Okay, so here we go into the final game. And for this game, we're going to be going bow. Now, obviously, as I said before, going with the range is the strat. Or not the range, sorry. The, uh... The extra vision is the strat on this map. So we're going to be facing a B. And it looks like they're all on one side. Oh, the B is actually back here still. We're going to be spraying this side over here. We can move up and be aggressive since we have the vision. Don't really see them. Just going to shoot over here. Okay, we're going to be hit by that 3k shot, but it's fine. We know they're somewhere on this right side. We're going to heal up a little bit before we move closer. Right there, we're going to be able to get two of them. It's a good start. We know the B is over here. Good tap over there by Feli. Hopefully Feli can break that side. Perfect. So it's one lane that's going to be completely blocked. We're just going to stand over here because Moonlight has his super. And as soon as they walk by, he's going to be able to get an easy pull. Oh, they might be behind us over here. So we're going to move to this side. I'm going to spin the signal. The Moonlight should come over here. Yep, they're right over here. We're going to be able to pick up one kill. Good taps over there. We're going to put mines on that right side so that they can't walk through it now. And we're going to move closer. Just gonna stand right over here so Moonlight can get the pull. He's not going to. Looks like the Shelly hit our uh, our mines over there. Oh, we're not in a very good spot over here. Oh, we're able to run away. Good tap over there by Feli to get the kill. Shelly's still somewhere over here. Gonna get two taps on it. Gonna be hit by a B shot. They're gonna hit my mine. And we're just gonna throw this right up over here. Continue breaking more grass. Moonlight goes for a risky pull. Not going to be able to hit it. I'm going to get some taps over here. You guys can see we're staying back for the most part. No reason to really go up when we have the lead. Although you don't want to be pushed back totally in your spawn like we are right now. So I feel like the Shelly might be moving up the left side unless it gave up. Which it probably did. Feli's able to get that kill. I'm going to be hit by a mine. Um, but we should be good. Yep, that's going to be game 17 nothing. As you guys saw, left side's broken, right side's broken, mid is broken. That's how you want to do it. Get out to the early lead and hold your ground. And that is going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that's going to be it for today. If you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a thumbs up and definitely try using this comp as much as you can. It's definitely the best comp on Snake Prairie. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be back again tomorrow. Peace.